what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Two white men accused of killing Ahmaud Arbery and what his family is calling a modern day lynching will not face hate crime charges in Georgia, according to state investigators. That's because Georgia is one of four states in the U.S. that doesn't have a hate crimes prevention law, according to the Department of Justice. If someone commits a crime motivated by bias, statewide authorities are unable to pursue additional charges or enhance penalties for the perpetrator. Retired police officer Gregory McMichael, 64, and his son, Travis, 34, were arrested by Glenn County police and charged with murder and aggravated assault Thursday night. The arrest came just 36 hours after the Georgia Bureau of Investigation began assisting in the probe, which began 10 weeks ago. The video evidence is what sealed the deal. The video evidence dropped and there was a huge public outcry. If not for that video, we're not talking about these guys being arrested. The DOJ said the department will be investigating William Bryan, who filmed the incident, to determine whether charges should be filed against him also. Aubrey, who is black, was killed February 23rd on a residential street about two miles from his home outside Brunswick, Georgia. Gregory McMichael told police they saw him running and believed he was a burglary suspect. So they grabbed their guns, hopped in their truck, and gave chase. They caught up with him and commanded him to stop. When he resisted, they shot him dead. So what are the other three states that doesn't have a hate crime prevention law? Arkansas, Wyoming, and South Carolina. But here's the deal, fam. Even if Georgia doesn't have a hate crime prevention law, the feds could still pick it up. They could charge him with a federal hate crime. So they're not out of the woods. Not saying that they would actually want to be, you know, being that they're backwoods and all. In any event, let's say they investigate and they find out that, hey, you know, that was a hate crime. That's when the feds could decide they're going to pick it up. That's how that works. In South Carolina, for example, when the guy, the white guy killed the black people in the church, South Carolina didn't have a hate crimes uh, prevention law. So the feds picked it up and charged him federally. Now, I don't know about politics and fine lines of hate crime, but I can tell you that the McMichaels absolutely benefited from Gregory's relationship with the prosecution's office. He definitely benefited, he and his son, from his relationship with law enforcement. This is why he wasn't charged. The good old boys was doing what they do, looking out for one another and being good old boys. See, Georgia already has a murder statute. They already have a murder statute. What we need is for them to enforce it. We need these despicable, wicked, deplorable roaches to be tried, convicted, and sentenced to death. No more talk. What the mate is talking about.